Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you have previous experience using Microsoft Project, you will notice that the new interface within Microsoft Project 2010 makes use of the ribbon that first appeared within Microsoft Office 2007 products. As with any program, you should begin by familiarizing yourself with your working environment. This is where we will begin exploring Microsoft Office Project. If this is the first time that you have used Microsoft Project, then the first thing to notice is the default view of the new blank project file that appears. This is named the Gantt Chart View. Also note that this is only one of many possible views of your project information that is contained within a project file in Microsoft Project. Within the Gantt Chart View, you see project tasks shown at the left side of the window within the Entry Table View, and then you'll see associated task durations shown in the bar chart to the right of the tasks. New to Project 2010, you can also see a timeline view of the project's entire duration shown at the top of the view. Also notice that the default object within Microsoft Project is the project file itself, of which the Gantt chart view is just one possible view. The project file window appears inside of the outer application window. The project file window contains the actual project that you are creating. You may also open and close the individual project file windows within Microsoft Project without closing the entire program. Now let's examine the names and locations of several tools that you will need in order to create your project files. The first object that we will point out is the ribbon that appears at the top of the application window. This tool is where you can find all of the command buttons available for use within Microsoft Project. Now they are separated into various tabs within which you will find all of the button groups. You can click the buttons that appear within the groups on the tabs within the ribbon to perform all of your actions within Project. One of the most important tabs within the ribbon is the new file tab that's located in the upper left corner of the ribbon. Clicking this button allows you to access the most common file functions, such as creating a new project file, saving changes to your project file, and printing your project file. Above the ribbon is the Quick Access Toolbar. You can add buttons to this toolbar for the commands that you use most frequently in order to have them always available. You will notice several important buttons are already set here. Save, Undo, and Redo. You can also easily remove buttons that have been added to this toolbar as well. Now at the top of the window, you will see the name of the current project file that you have open. This will appear to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar in an area known as the Title Bar. Below the ribbon, the current project file is displayed. This is where you enter and manage most of the actual project data for the currently opened project file. When a project file is displayed using the Gantt Chart View, then at the right side of the project file you'll see a vertical scroll bar. You'll also see a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of your project file. Now you can use the vertical scroll bar to scroll up and down through the content shown in the view. And you can use the horizontal scroll bar to scroll laterally across the content shown in the project file view. You can now easily zoom in to increase the project file's magnification, or zoom out to decrease the magnification using the zoom slider that appears in the lower right corner of the window. Also, to the left of that, you can see commonly used project view buttons that allow you to switch the view of your project file as needed. Now that we have an overview of the major on-screen elements, where they are located by default and what they are called, let's look at the various on-screen elements within Project in more detail. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.